All right, guys, we got a 2003 Dodge Ram. Got a couple hundred thousand miles on it, and it has a power steering leak. And I'm going to show you where it's leaking, and then we're going to change this power steering pump. Hopefully, let me, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, hopefully you're going to be able to see that. I'm going to go start it up and turn the steering wheel. Hopefully you was able to see that where it was pouring out. So the first step, please step power steering pump change is to loosen off the serpentine belt. And all you need is a uh, you can use a breaker bar, not a breaker bar. A, uh, you can use a ratchet to uh, get down there and get on that uh, tensioner and then we're just going to pull it off with a power steering pulley and try to position it to where it'll stay on most of the other pulleys and the tool I prefer what's, what size is that sometimes they're half inch sometimes they're three eighths this one looks like it's three eighths and the tool that I prefer is this extendable 3 8 Harbor Freight uh, ratchet. Hold on just a second. You'll see why. The reason I like this Harbor Freight ratchet is because it is, it's telescoping so you can set it to wherever you need it to get whatever kind of leverage that you, that you need. Sometimes access is an issue, so you can either shorten it up if you have access problems, or you can lengthen it um, if you just need the more leverage. So let's get it going in the right direction here. Okay, so. And there we go. And hopefully, going to lay it off to the side like that so that I can remember how it all hooks up. And I'm going to try to give you a shot of where the bolts are that you got to get to. If you look right through those holes, you'll see the, maybe, I, I, I mean, I can't see the back of the camera. But there's, they're like 13 millimeter um, bolts. It's an easy power steering pump to do. Of course, you got your reservoir there. We're going to uh, get some pliers. We're going to unclamp the hose and break the uh, line loose from the pump itself. So the uh, that clamp right there we're just going to take some pliers and pinch that clamp and pull that hose off and then we'll grab some pliers and I'm just going to try to get underneath there with these pliers and uh, 
Let's see if we can get you set up here. Let that drain in a bucket. Now the next thing we got to get is that right there. That's the 16 millimeter. Let's see if we can hold the camera here for you. Thing we need to be able to get the pump out now just the three uh they look about 13 millimeter i'm gonna get my air ratchet and a deep well socket Pump. You see the back's all rusted up, but I think the fluid was coming out of the front seal. Now there is a reservoir on this. Some pumps will have a reservoir. <clears throat> some pumps, some pumps will come with a reservoir. Some pumps won't. So just depending on what you uh, end up getting, take it easy on the reservoir if you. Because you may need to reuse a reservoir. I believe the pump I'm going to get has a reservoir. But we'll see. 
the factory reservoir is probably actually a better uh, better than what the aftermarket one's going to be. Anyway, this is just going to be an O'Reilly's pump. Anyway, that was probably 10 minutes worth of work to get that off. Uh, very easy, very accessible. Anyway, until I get the new pump. All right, guys, so we're back. We got the new power steering pump. Uh, this one came with a reservoir, did not come with a pulley, so I transferred the pulley over. I probably should have filmed that. Um, if you don't have the tools, probably best that you get a power steering pump assembly with pulley. Uh, it takes a puller. Uh, I'll link the puller in the description. If you do want to do it yourself, uh, make sure you have the puller kit. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to finagle this uh, pump uh, down in here and I'm going to try to get a bolt started and I will try to get you in a position to where you'll be able to see it all no promises okay so basically I'm just going to uh, get this thing position down in here so I've just got a socket on an extension this happens to be a locking extension so that the socket will not come off and all I'm trying to do is just get a couple threads started come on now be nice to me Now it's ratchet time. Going back with a hand ratchet just to make sure that I've got them all tight enough. Okay. So while I'm up here, okay, yeah, I can get to it. So this fitting right here. It's got an O-ring on it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Just to replace that. So you can do it without replacing it. But if you have an O-ring kit, I would replace it. Lost my life.
Come on now. Might have to get underneath to get this. My hands ain't able to bend the way they need to bend. I have already pulled there's plugs that you got to make sure you take out okay. that hose is on I just got to get the clamp I don't know how much of this you're seeing but I'm doing the best I can I wish I could find some damn glasses that would stay stay on when I'm working. <clears throat> All right. Okay, need to just fill it up and we're done. Got a plug right here I gotta get out. Let's see what I got here. Alright. There we go. Let me get some fluid. Okay, I got the power steering pump all in. I got the serpentine belt hooked back up. Uh, oh, no, yeah, I do have that bottom line hooked up, and I do have the clamp uh, hooked up to the pump, so we're ready to start it up and put it through its paces. Uh, I, I did feel the reservoir just slightly higher than where it should be, because it should use some fluid. So let me start it up, and we'll run it. I'm going to take the uh, steering wheel, run it from lock to lock, or stop to stop a few times see how it sounds and then we'll check the fluid level Here 
Grand Pump change. 2003 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter Hemi engine. And there you have it. You guys take care.